Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. First of all, apologies, yes, I am sitting on the floor. Um, I just thought this was quite a handy place to do my stocking filler haul, which I'm going to be doing today because I've just got easy access to be able to grab everything. Um, I also thought um, it's nice and cosy as well. I've just put another log on the fire. Um, I'm feeling quite Christmassy and festive. I've got my glass of wine over there. It's not mulled wine, which would have been ideal. But um, yes, I just thought this was a good place to start. Um, so today's video is going to be a stocking filler haul. I'm just going to run through all of the bits that I've already bought for my four-year-old and two-year-old in the hope that it might give you a bit of inspiration um, for your own children. If you've got any ideas as well, um, please do put them in the comments box below because I've still got a bit of time before Christmas and I've got a few more presents to get. So yeah, I'd like to hear your ideas too. Um, if you're new to my channel, it would be fantastic if you could subscribe. Um, and let's get started. So the first thing I thought I'd just uh, mention is the stockings that I've got. So I've got Rosie's here, um, but Quinn's got identical ones. So they're from a company called um, Hide and Seek Textiles, um, which is quite a small business, I think, based in West Sussex. Um, this is my other Jack Russell, by the way. This is Jilly. I've got two Jack Russells, um, and they're pretty much identical, but this one's Jilly. Um, so uh, yeah, sorry, stockings. Hide and Seek Textiles, so they do these beautiful and um, personalised stockings for children. So there's lots of different designs on them. Obviously I've gone for stars here and I've done that for both Quinn and Rosie. But they had spots, stripes, chevrons, um, so many different styles and designs. And they're really, really beautifully made and I think they will last for years and years to come. Obviously you can have them personalised with a child's name like I've done. Um, and then I also bought the... Um, matching uh, Father Christmas sack to go with it. Just because, um, firstly, I find some of the presents that I buy, Chili, some of the presents I buy for the children um, are too big to fit in the stocking. And secondly, my sister actually had quite a good idea. She said it can be quite tricky when you're going into the children at night time and rustling around and potentially waking them up at the end of their bed. So she hangs up a stocking at the end of the bed and then separately fills up a sack or a different stocking um, and then you can just take that straight in and pop it at the end of the bed maybe put a couple of things in the stocking but you're not in the bedroom too long rustling around and risking waking the child up so that's why I quite like having both of these they are expensive so I think the stocking was is 36 pounds um, and the sack is 46 I think that's right I'll pop it in the description box below with a link anyway but I think that's right um, but one of the things that I found was uh, worked quite well for us was for the children's first Christmas when people were a bit unsure what to get them, obviously they're only one, there's only so much they can be interested in, um, I suggested uh, something like these or the Christmas Eve boxes because I just think it's a lovely keepsake that they've got forever. Um, so people will quite like buying it as a gift um, and then obviously you haven't, you, you haven't got sort of all the expense coming at once when, when you're buying it for the children. So yeah, I just think that's quite a nice first birthday, uh, sorry, first Christmas uh, gift idea. So those are the stockings. So let's get started with what I've got to go in them for this year. Sorry, I think Julie's going to be helping for this whole video. I'm sorry. She just, um, just wants me to sit down and cuddle her today, don't you? I think it's a bit cold outside and I think she just wants lovely cuddles. Anyway, and apologies, I've got my phone here because um, it, I've got a list on it of how much everything was, just so I can give you prices as well as we go. So, uh, the first item I've got to show you is these um, grabbers and pipettes. And I think my children are going to love these. Um, I saw them when we were in the first lockdown, which is when I bought a tough tray, which I've actually got, I think you can see it in the shop over here. Um, it's like, I think it's actually a concrete mixing tray from a builder's merchant, but you see a lot of people online having them with children for mainly messy play, and they are fantastic, they're really good. I'll try and put a proper picture of it in, in the, um, I'll try and pop one up um, on the screen here so you can see what I mean. Um, so we did a lot of crafty play with that during lockdown, and I think we're going to get a lot of use over it over the winter as well, because I've, obviously I brought it into the house now, and any sort of messy play activities or even baking or anything we do like that with it, I can pop it on the floor, keep all of the activity hopefully within the tray, and so it's not too much mess around the house. I just thought these would be quite good for our messy play with the tough tray as well. 
So the first one are uh, just grabbers. So they've just got sort of cir circles on the end or spheres on the end, but they're scissor action. Um, so they could pick up sand or they could pick up dried rice or um, yeah, anything like that to play with. And I also thought they're quite good for scissor practice for small hands without having any dangerous blades involved. Um, so I really, really liked these and I think what I'll probably do is split both of these packs up and put some in Rovers and some in Quinn's. The second item is um, the pet droppers. So um, what we've also did in the summer was I got um, sort of jars of different liquid and put um, food colouring in them. So I think they quite like playing, they liked pouring the jugs from one to the other and I thought the pipettes would work quite well with an activity like that because they can draw up sort of different coloured liquids and mix them together and see what colour it creates. I just think they're going to have lots of fun with that. These were expensive and um, as I said I'd had my eye on them for a long time but I kept thinking they're a lot of money to spend just on an activity like this but like I say I'm going to split the pack up, give some to Quinn, give some to Rosie and I justified it to myself like that. So I think the grabbers were £12 and the pipettes were £11 and they are both from Amazon. So the next item I just wanted to show you are these math link cubes. I, again, I've had my eye on these for a while. Um, Quinn, my four-year-old, is really into numbers at the moment. Um, and I just think um, he's going to really enjoy playing with these. And I also think they're going to be good for learning to add and subtract. Um, and in addition, I quite like how they're all different colours, so we can do things like um, uh, colour matching and sort of sorting and organising colours, which Rosie can even get involved with. And also each strip has um, different shapes with it as well, so we can also do shape sorting and talk about the different shapes um, and match those up too. So yeah, I've, I've really liked these, I think he's going to get a lot of use out of them. And um, One thing that I have seen since I bought these is there's actually a number block from CBB's specific pack. So it's very similar to this, it's the Math Link Cubes but it's going with a number block theme and I'm kind of... Uh, I kind of wish I could have bought that because he just is obsessed with number blocks so I think he'd really enjoy it. But I also think this pack's perhaps better because this has a hundred pieces. The number block set doesn't have that many because it's got the number blocks one to ten but obviously it's sort of diagonal so you've got one block with ten in it, one with nine, one with eight, one with seven, all the way down to the one. So there's sort of half the blocks in it compared to this. Um, but I think there are a few activity sheets in the number blocks one that I've seen like white clean mats and things like that um, to play activities with. So they both look good. Um, this one was, I think it was £9.46 from Amazon. The number block one that I've seen is £20, so it is actually double the price as well for less bricks. So he would have loved the number block theme one, but I think probably this is the better option for me, um, just because it's a bit of a cheaper stocking filler, and I know he's still going to get an awful lot of use out of it. So... Next up, um, I've got these craft um, activity packs. So my children love any sort of crafting. Um, so painting, crafting, messy play, they love it all. So I've bought them one of these each, which I found on Amazon. And they are sand art magnets. So I think what it is, is you have three cardboard ice cream shapes in, in the pack. And I think they've got stickers on. So you peel um, each part of the ice cream off via the sticker and one at a time. And then there's a few different bags of coloured sand. So you then pour whichever coloured sand you want on that area of the ice cream. Then you can peel the next sticker off and pour a different bit of sand on there, shake the sand off, and in the end you'd have a lovely pattern like, like one of these. And also in the pack are some magnets. You can pop some magnets on the back of the ice creams and then pop it on your fridge or something like that. So I got uh, a pack for them each and I can imagine us sitting down one day in January probably, give them a pack each, probably with our tough tray again, so it just keeps all the mess in one place. Um, yeah, and that's going to keep them occupied for a good 20 minutes, I'm hoping. So um, yeah, bit of a win-win, I think. Um, and sorry, they were £6.95 from Amazon. So, next up, um, I bought the next few items from a small company called Melly and Rue, which I found on Facebook. So they're a small company, I think they're local to me, I think they're East Sussex perhaps. Um, but yeah, really liked the company. It all seemed with a, uh, to have a focus on sort of um, outdoor play and activities with the children. Um, and also less towards sort of the 
plastic toys that you get with um, a lot of the orders that I've been getting on Amazon and things like that, more towards maybe sort of ethically sourced kind of toys, which I was trying, uh, this year I've tried my best to buy from small businesses as much as possible, because um, I do appreciate they've suffered so much this year, as everyone has, but I just think small businesses need that extra bit of a boost now. Um, and also I've tried my best to steer away from plastic as much as I can. I know I have obviously got some plastic here, but I just didn't want the whole stocking to be full of that. So, Melly and Rue had some really lovely different pieces. So what I found first was I really liked this. This is a bird feeder pizza kit, pizza making kit. Um, and my little boy, we bought, um, earlier in the year, we bought some new bird feeders. My little boys loved coming down in the morning and checking them out to see how much the seed has gone down and then he's sitting there having his breakfast saying, oh, there's some birds on them, mummy. So he's actually quite interested in them. In them. So I thought this he'd be interested in this as well. So it's really cute. It comes in a little hessian sack. And inside the sack you've got a card with instructions and a few um, pictures of birds that you can spot with their names. And then it's also got these wooden discs which you use as the base for your bird pizza. Um, so I think the idea is you get some gooey mud from your garden, smear it all over the base, pop it out in the garden and then there's a separate hessian sack within this one that's got some bird seed in. So then you just pop the bird seed, you can see, pop the bird seed on top of the um, mud that you've put on your wooden discs and make your own little bird pizza. Oh, it's gone all over the floor, that's fine. Um, yeah, I just I hadn't seen anything like this before. I thought it was really cute, and I think my little boy's gonna love it. I also think it was really good value. It was um, I think six pounds ninety five for this little set, and it will fit nicely in his stocking. So next up, I've got a few little uh, book packs that I bought. The first one um, is uh, a bug. What's it called? Make your own cardboard bugs. So I think it's origami basically, but to make bugs. So I've got that to go in Quinn stocking, which I thought was really sweet. And that one was £6.95. Then I've got a little activity book, um, also to go in Quinn stocking. And it's got some really lovely quality looking activities in here. It feels like a nice, lovely activity book. It's all nice thick paper. Um, it's got sort of spot the difference, it's got little mazes, it's got uh, dot to dots. There's some stickers in the back as well, um, which I think have got activities linked to them, so you have to stick the stickers in the right place. Really sweet little book, um, and that was um, also, I think, six ninety nine. that one. That's going to go in Quinn's stocking. And then for Rosie, um, she loves horses and she loves stickers, so I got her some horsey stickers. And this was a real bargain, this was £2.80, which I think is really good, and it feels lovely quality, they look like they're really nice stickers in there. And she'll have lots of fun She's sticking the stickers on her, sticking them on me, sticking them on the dogs, she'll love it. So, next up, also from Melly and Rue, we've got a Scratch Magic um, pack which I think comes with black sheets inside and some stencils which you pop over the top and a little stylus pen. And I think you pop the stencil over, scratch away at the black surface and um, it reveals colours, so it makes a little pattern. So I just think my little boy's gonna like playing with that. He loves colouring in um, and it's just a slightly different variant of that. Um, again, this was a bit of a bargain, it was £1.50. So next up, I really liked this. I hadn't seen this um, anywhere else before. It's mini colouring and games. And it's just a little tube like this with a um, perforated top on it. And you uh, pop the top off, uh, pop the top in, pop the perforations, and then inside there's a roll. And you just pull each activity off the roll one at a time. Um, and I just thought that was really cute. I think there's some, some for colouring in, I think there's some for uh, dot to dot, things like that. Um, I think he'll love that, maybe when he comes out in the morning to have his breakfast, he can just pull one off and do a little um, game while he's having his cereal. Um, or I also thought that'd be quite a nice one to just pop in my handbag, so if we go out anywhere and he needs a little bit of quick entertaining, um, then he can easily just pull out an activity and do that. Um, and again, it was Melly and Rue, and it was £2.95. So, um, Next up from Millie and Rue, I just got a really basic yo-yo for my little boy. I think he'll like this. Um, the thing I liked about that is it's all wooden. Um, 
So again, I was trying to sort of steer away from plastic as much as I could, and it looks like a nice, hard-wearing, long-lasting one. So I think, hopefully, you will like that. And this was £3.95. Um, and then I got some very basic snap cards from Melly and Rue. Um, he loves playing little games like this. Normally we have a little game just before he goes to bed or something or other. Um, and yeah, I think he'll just enjoy that. Um, we often play Dobble as well, which is another good one for sort of four-year-old age. He's just about sort of getting into that. Um, but yeah, I'd really recommend that. That would be a good stocking filler as well if you haven't already got it because it's sort of that size, so it would fit quite nicely in. Um, but yeah, here we've just got some simple snap cards and they are £2.95 for Melly and Rue. Um, the next, the final bit I got from Melly and Rue are these um, play in chalk little boxes. Um, and I've seen these before in a cafe, I've bought them for the children and I compare them to like a, a posh kinder egg basically. Um, so you get a little bit of chocolate in there and you also get um, a bit of cardboard with a toy sort of perforated into it so you pop the toy out of the cardboard and then have to build it yourself. The ones I've, played, I've had bought for the children at the cafe were um, like rabbits and things like that and these are Christmas themed so I imagine they're going to be snowmen, gingerbread reindeer um, but yeah they'll know what they are when they open them um, and they'll be quite excited and also it's a nice little bit of chocolate to go in their stocking as well. Um, so these were £5.90 but I think that was for both of them, I hope that was for both of them, otherwise they're quite expensive. I'm pretty sure it's for both of them, £5.90. Um, so yeah, really sweet these and I have seen them in other places but I got them from Melly and Rue. So the last couple of bits I just wanted to show you, I found in the uh, Smiggle sale. Um, so it's just a little pot of, it's called Galactic Goo, I think it's just slime um, and my little boy loves anything to do with slime or goo, he'll think that's brilliant and that was 50p in the Smiggle sale and then I also found this um, pen from Smiggle which I think was a pound and I remember having one of these when I was at school so it's just one of the ones where there's different colours all the way around and you pop down a different colour to write so yeah I think he'll be Quite entertained by that. Again, it's just a nice, cheap little thing to pop into a stocking. Um, so that's it for the stocking fillers that I've bought so far. And um, the only other thing I wanted to mention is I've got here the children's um, Christmas Eve boxes, um, and I sort of I'd like to do the Christmas Eve boxes, but I don't want to spoil them too much because I think they get enough of that on Christmas Day. But I do try and pop a few little bits into there. So I normally put like a nice pair of fluffy socks. Um, maybe a couple of little treats and um, I found these which I thought I'm going to pop into their Christmas Eve boxes from a small local business on Facebook. They are personalised um, Christmas baubles so you could choose the colour of the ribbon, colour of the beef to go inside and the colour of the writing and then I just had Quinn written on the front um, and I've had the same for Rosie. Um, so my idea is just pop them in the Christmas Eve boxes and then I think they'll be quite excited just to run over and pop it on the tree on Christmas Eve. So they were from a local company to me called Christina Louise Creates. So I'll put a link to um, her page if I can in the description box below. One more thing I just wanted to mention that hasn't actually arrived um, for their stockings yet. I've ordered from Etsy. It's um, some little, I think they're Plaster of Paris letters. So you can order whichever letters you want. So obviously I've ordered Rosie and Quinn. And it comes with a little paint set and a paint brush. And they can paint their own names. I just think my, my children love doing any sort of painting activity like that. And they're going to get really excited that it's the fact that they're painting their own names. Also thought then it's quite a nice keepsake to have. Um, so they were um, a really good value as well actually, they were £6.50 each from Etsy and I will try and put a link in the description box below and I'll also try and put a picture of it up here as well just so you can sort of see what I'm talking about. So that's it for my stocking filler haul, hopefully you found some of it useful um, like I said at the beginning if you've got any other ideas please do put them in the comments box below because hopefully I've still got a little bit more time so I've got a few more bits I could get if you've got any good ideas for inspiration for me that would be amazing. Um, also I'm going to pop, uh, just at the end of this video I'm going to pop a little montage of us popping our Christmas decorations up just so you can see what we're doing at our house. I think I'm a little bit late doing this actually because 
we, by the time this video, go, video goes up and our decorations are up, it will be the second week of December, I think. Um, and I know a lot of people have been doing it from sort of mid-November to make up for 2020 um, being a bit of a bit of a rubbish year. Um, yeah, so uh, that's it for today, apart from the festive montage that will follow this. Um, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, it would be amazing if you could just hit that subscribe button for me. Um, and I will see you again in my next video. So thanks very much for watching. Bye for now. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide. Start to snow in our hearts. 